bath towel and two washcloths fit into this this is my set of travel towels i recently did a towel video and i had this in there and many of you asked how i was able to get these little towels into this small footprint in today's video i'm going to show you the hack of how i do that so you can do it too the types of materials that you choose for this are very important this will only work with like a man-made synthetic material like nylon or polyester it won't work with cotton wool or silk so that is important when choosing a towel for your travel adventures if, especially if you're going to cut them down all right i recently did a towel video for you guys and i showed you these ultra thin washcloths that i bring and i told you that this one was cut from something smaller it was cut from a much larger piece like a you know something that would be used as like a quote unquote bath towel but you'll see how thin these are and again they're not going to foam up but they're going to get you clean but this one right here that came with the set which is the washcloth size for me is still too big i'll show you here in comparison to this there's a lot of extra material here that I don't necessarily want to pack and I don't need to use for washing. So I will cut this blue one up into something that's going to allow me to have a couple of washcloths. So if I lose one or something, I have it. So this has a little tab on here to hang. So I'm going to just cut it so I can keep that tab on here. And so I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it so that this other parts are off and I can make smaller little washcloths out of these and then I'll show you how I keep the edges from fraying. Got my pinking shears and I'm just going to cut this to the size I want. These pinking shears are going to give it that kind of uneven edge so that I'm able to prevent it a little bit more from unraveling. Now these are about the same size but as you can see there's a bunch of little scraggly pieces here and I'm going to take care of that next. All right, this next part involves a little bit of fire because this is a um, man-made material, kind of like a plastic-ish nylon material or polyester material. I'm gonna run the edges here through the flame really quick like that. And I'm just trying to burn off all those little fuzzy parts that could start to unravel. I'm breathing on the flame. Let me just not talk for a minute. And that flame just kind of melts those all off don't set it on fire. Don't set yourself on fire. So now you can see I have a smaller washcloth for my body and one for my face. This will get me through travel adventures. I've been using this one for years and it hasn't come unraveled. So this is my new one to have. Now these extra little squares become something that I can put in my purse or an emergency kit. This saved me the other day when I went to the bathroom and there was no toilet paper in the stall. I was able to wash off and wipe off with this one and then get to a sink and then wash it all out and then put it back in my bag for later. But this literally saved my butt on my travel adventure. So even though I only used face towels in this little video, you can use any size towel and follow the same directions. Just have to make sure that they are not cotton, wool, or silk. This only works with towels that are synthetic like nylon, polyester, because you're kind of just melting the edges. And if you want links to the towels that I'm using, I'll leave them in the video description. And remember, as usual, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Make sure you bring some towels on your travel adventures. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.